Well, this is very impressive. So we're in the, the Black Desert in the Highlands here. And as you can see, there's a, a little bit of wind kicking up and uh, it really adds to the atmosphere. It's a very stark landscape with uh, these lava rocks kind of scattered around and then the sand in between. But as you can see behind me here, when the wind kicks up, it creates a really nice atmosphere. So I've been taking the images primarily looking that way and lots of different compositions because it, you know the atmosphere kind of varies depending on how strong the wind is going at that at that time one minute there might not be any wind and you'll get a clear view of the peaks in the background or like now when there's a lot of sand kicking up you can just see Alistair there uh, really adds to the the drama of the area that was a dust devil over by the the van there pretty cool ah probably not very good for uh, camera equipment and we've been changing lenses inside the van because uh, the sand here is extremely fine anyway this is pretty cool it's kind of minimal minimal uh, compositions just rock sand and the odd uh, hill in the background. I like it, I like it a lot. It's quite different to uh, what I usually shoot. Standing in this isolated, windswept landscape was one of the highlights of this trip for me. Now, as far as landscape photography goes, I took a few images, uh, but I think the experience was more of a highlight than the actual photography. The images that I did take, they are very minimalistic and very stark, and sometimes that's quite appealing. As an example, this image here I really quite like because of that minimalistic nature to it. We have that uh, group of rocks in the foreground and then the mountain kind of mimics those rocks in the background. I just wish that that puffy cloud had been centered with the other two elements in the photograph. So what I did in this image here is I actually moved the cloud over to the center so everything would line up. Let me know what you think. Been down pits. <laughs> all right, all right. Good hard day's graft. I think I've got black lung. <laughs> oh, As you can see, the weather is quite different than uh, yesterday. There's not a cloud in the sky. Well, actually, I tell a lie. There's some hazy type clouds off in the distance there. So we've come out to another part of the highlands and we're just looking for compositions as we drive along the, uh, the dirt roads here. And of course, this peak here is extremely prominent i got to be honest with you, I'm having a little bit of a hard time with the minimalist uh, stuff when there isn't uh, any kind of clouds in the sky. I'm not a huge fan of, of blue skies. Having said that, I am trying to get a shot of the, uh, the water here in the foreground with the light hitting that uh, prominent pointy peak in the background. I was hoping that there would be a little bit more of a curve 
in the water to try and you know get a, a really nice foreground rather than just a picture of the of the peak itself I'm gonna head down over here and see what I can find because I think it curves or well, the water curves around and there might be some way of, of leading you into the frame So uh, most of the uh, kind of from one o'clock onwards we were photographing uh, in the black desert there with the uh, the sandstorm and we've driven probably about an hour, an hour from there maybe a bit more maybe an hour and a half to another area uh, where there's a, a large uh, lake which is just to the side of me here and uh, Thor has taken us out to an area that looks really great for photography. We're hoping to get um, a little bit of evening light. Not sure what's going to happen. It was clear over to the west, um, but we'll have to see what happens. So the hike in is quite far. It's uh, four kilometers uh, and we need to get there by uh, around 10 p.m. So we don't have an awful lot of time, so it's a little bit of a rush. But, uh, well, hopefully we'll get some light. If not, then uh, we'll just get some uh, some exercise. <laughs> so we'll sketch, isn't it, this path? A little bit. On the wrong step, and you'll be down <laughs> in the lake. So uh, Alistair and Thor uh, took a lower route to where we're going and uh, I saw the trail that kind of went up and then it cut across to where they were and I thought I could just cut across. Well anyway, uh, I ended up just continuing up the, the ridge line and uh, Tom's followed behind and it's absolutely spectacular up here. I don't know where those guys have ended up but there's this knife edge ridge that you walk along and uh, yeah, it's just, it's just beautiful. There's a, a big lagoon or a lake down here and then behind the camera, the lake kind of opens up behind. There's uh, some really cool islands kind of abstract uh, stuck in the lake here. So I'm gonna try and get some shots of those islands. There looks like there aren't any clouds to the west. So I'm, I'm really hoping that the light comes through here because it's just spectacular. We just need a bit of directional light and you can kind of see the ridge line uh, here with Tom just at the end here. Again, this was another fantastic area that was uh, a highlight of this trip for me. 
throughout all of these videos, it's really hard to come up with original uh, superlatives to describe these areas. So I'll just steal one from Tom and say that this was absolutely stunning. Now, I was really happy with the images that I got from this area, especially the somewhat abstract shots of those islands, but I'd really love to go back and uh, spend a bit more time on the higher peaks that were behind us. I have seen some shots from up there since I've got back, and again, uh, it just looks like a fantastic area for photography. So if I ever get to visit Iceland again, I know where I'll be going. Right, unfortunately that's the end of this week's video. I have one more video left in the series from my trip to Iceland, so stay tuned for that in the next week or so. If you enjoyed the video, as always, if you give me a thumbs up, that would be greatly appreciated. And as always, if you enjoy the content of my channel, be sure to hit that uh, subscribe button. All right, folks, thanks ever so much. Bye-bye.